Hey guys, I'll try to make it short and sweet. Uh, welcome to the video. We have a plow frame uh, along with a bumper that we're going to be painting. We're going to clean it up and we're going to paint it. Uh, we have a plow frame and some brackets that we're going to powder coat. Um, so we're going to get that out of the way in this video. Uh, we have more videos to come. We're getting a compressor in. Uh, we'll have a video on that pretty soon. I would like to ask for some of your guys' help uh, and leave uh, down in the descriptions uh, what you think. So, I'm watching other powder coaters. Uh, they have badass videos, uh, really good. Um, when they're powdering, it's just showing like just the powder spot, you know, and then the finished product. Uh, my videos are a little unorthodox. They're a little out of the box. Also, I hate editing. So, hey, that's part of it. Um, but I show a, a lot of stuff, like, in between the powdering. Um, uh, like, they're running around and conversation sometimes. A whole bunch of stuff. So, my question is, um, what would you guys like to see better? You know, a clean cut video to where um, I'm just showing a few minutes of the blasting. I'm just showing a few minutes of the powder coating and keeping all the rest of the stuff completely out of it. Uh, no, like, who knows? Like, I mean, you watch my, if you're watching this, you're probably watching my videos. So you understand what I'm saying. Um, it is unorthodox. It's not a... Uh, uh, same as the next guy. So, um, I just didn't know if you guys want to see them more cleaned up, maybe, uh, more time in editing to where it doesn't have all the weird shit in there and, and just basic, Hey, this is what we're doing. This is what the part is. Uh, this is us blasting it for a minute. This is us powdering it for a minute. Video's done. Nine minutes done. Uh, just let me know, leave it down in the description or keep doing it the way we're doing it. Um, uh, it's just a curiosity of mine, uh, just because I watch a lot of other YouTubers out there, and um, they're more refined than mine. Um, but, okay, well, uh, enjoy the video. Also, pretty soon, that that collaboration I had back in April, um, my video is behind the scenes on that. I have a behind the scenes video, and I'm just waiting for that company to get their video to me to put up. Uh, for the company video and then I'll play mine afterwards Hopefully uh, I got told that video is about half done. So hopefully here sooner or later um, uh, My video and their video will be coming out on the channel um, So we'll see where that goes. Okay. I hope you enjoy the video Unfortunately, I forgot to show the stripping. Uh, here's the push plow. That bottom was already in. I turned it around. The other half is getting done. Uh, so that's going to be powder coated along with the two brackets that I just showed you on that cart. Uh, this is not because it can't fit in our chemical stripper. So we're going to turn around. We're going to blast all the rust and all the crappy powder off. And then we're gonna primer coat it and they're gonna take it and put a like a bed liner or rubberized coating on it. But I will record this coming out. Came out of the chemicals. Just have to blast still. Uh, these two brackets are to the push plow. And these two brackets are to the bumper. They are corroded as hell. I just have to do um, blasting to get it rust. Uh. Hey guys, uh, so this video um, is gonna be two different parts. So I have this plow frame, which is right here, that goes with this bracket and this bracket. 
and I have a bumper that will not fit in the oven that goes with that bracket and that bracket and it's a painted, uh, we're gonna be painting that one or at least primering it. So uh, we're gonna be blasting this now. So what we're using is a 200, 200 pound hot blaster from Eastwood. So it's all half inch from the bottom from the factory, which is better than a Harbor Freight. I think it's three eighths. Um, but what makes this extra special, I would say, because since I put this on, it's made a world of difference, is the Amira Blaster Kit. It's at AmiraBlaster.com. Um, if you have any questions or not sure what to buy uh go ahead and reach out to enrique and he'll i mean he'll answer everything but um it's a relocation kit right there so you're not having to reach all the way on the bottom and then up here uh this is the tungsten end so it's a lot better than the ceramic one and then their uh ball valves which last a lot longer than the original ones, or the ones you can buy on Amazon, uh, their hose. So yeah, I'd reach out to them uh, and check out the systems. Um, it's a rocking system, so okay. Uh, I'll continue blasting and I'll see you when we start powder coating. Okay guys, uh, so the push frame, or the plow frame, sorry, is right there. Uh, the two brackets that go with it are done there. These two brackets go with this. Um, this is powder coated, so I can't blast it and it's too big for the chemicals. Um, so what we're gonna go through is we're gonna go through and take all the rust off and see this right here. Um, we're gonna get all the bad spots of powder. So we'll, lit, we'll blast over this powder and any bad powder will come up um, and then we'll primer it uh, with paint, normal paint primer, and they're gonna take it and have it uh, like bed linered or something. So what we're doing right now is we're going through with a hammer and a paint scraper, and getting all the dead spots. Cause as you know, if you try doing blasting something like this, that's, this is tall. You might not be able to see it on camera. Um, it takes forever to go through. So. Uh, you actually have to prep all the spots, do them like this, and then blasting will be a lot easier. So, okay, let me just set you guys up.
Okay, so we smoothed it all out. Um, any spot that had bubbled or any kind of, uh, even a notch taken out, uh, we stripped it all the way back to good powder. Um, you can even see here, see it came all the way back to bare metal when we took the powder off. So the powder is good in the, in the spots. Um, but we went through and stripped it down. Now we'll blast the whole thing and uh, hopefully all the rust come clean. Well, not hopefully, the rust will come clean, so. Okay. So we just got the bumper done. Um, as you saw in the video, we actually, you saw us go over the powder. The reason we went over the powder is one, to etch it so the paint can adhere to it good. But two, if you go over it and you can't see a bad spot as soon as you hit it, uh, this one, I think I had one over here. Yep. This one, this one. Uh, when I went over the paint, it just flaked up the paint because it was crappy underneath and you could not see it. So that's why we go over the paint. Also, if you look, wherever there's, we blasted, you go all the way back into the good powder and it'll feather. So it's a smooth line. You can see it's smooth, it's not edged. Um, you just have to do that to make sure everything turns out. So now we'll take this and we'll spray paint over it uh, with primer, give it back to the customer. Uh, we'll take his parts, which are these two, and we'll actually powder coat them for him since uh, they didn't have uh, powder on them. So, okay, we'll continue with the project. Hey guys. So we are doing the four brackets and uh, plow push frame I believe it's called today um, we're going to be doing it in matte black and it's going to be Henson I know I always say it and I think I say it wrong uh, but this is it right here uh, so that's what we're going to be doing it in so basically we're gonna because there's a lot of voids or not really voids but a lot of uh, crevices or areas that's gonna be hard to get into. So instead of messing with that right off the bat, I'm gonna just hot block. So I'll go, I'll do a hot block coat, uh, let them cool down and then I'll just do a dry coat. Um, I'll give it a little more thickness to it, but I'm sure to get all those areas and don't have to worry about any kind of uh, fading or anything like that. Um, also, we have a start in a store uh, for apparel, uh, for Atomic Firearms and Green Mountain Apparel. Um, that will be down in the description. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing, helping the channel out. Uh, we try to get content out for you guys. Um, we just get really busy, and I know sometimes it takes a little while, but uh, we have a couple things coming down the pipeline right now. Uh, we have an old school plow. Uh, that I'm gonna lose money on. I'll explain that in the next video. Um, and because it happens to us all, and I'll explain where I lost, where I misfigured. Uh, and then I have these ones coming up. And then we have a compressor coming, so we'll put out a short video on our new compressor system that we're getting in, compressor and dryer. Uh, so excited about that. Um, okay. So we will start powder coating. I apologize. I do not have anybody here to do video. So I'm gonna be doing it myself. So it's not gonna be as close as it usually is. 
Uh, so I apologize for that, but okay, let's get rolling. sure if it's already played before this or if it's playing after this um i tried recording since it's by myself i tried recording with our uh wise cam um it recorded it did a great job except it did uh, uh tracking i forgot to turn it off so some of those clips you'll see with tracking on them so i apologize it's freaking annoying as hell uh the other ones don't uh because i turned it off for round two um for these, we are using the KK HD system. We are not using the Reaper. Uh, the reason I'm not using the Reaper today or it, with this is we have a lot of projects going on right now and the Reaper is set for a different project, which is uh, a little bit harder than these. So I have these go, this, the KK HD going with the easier stuff. So um, that's why. Um, if anybody's looking for a system, um, let me know. Uh, we have like a little support group uh, group, um, X1 Reaper guys, wicked good guys. Uh, some are new, some are veterans uh, to help out. If you have an X, uh, KFX1, uh, even if you didn't get it through us, uh, give me a call, we'll put you in a group. Anybody with a KFX1 or an X1 Reaper, uh, welcome to the group, uh, just to support each other. Um, again, please like and describe the video. S describe, okay subscribe to the video uh to help us out um okay let's get back we've already done the hot flocking on these uh they're about cold enough now we're gonna go through and we're gonna just do a nice uh warm coat or dry coat uh put them in and let's see how they turn out
for the bumper and the plow. Turned out nice. Here's the plow, or plow frame. All the spots, even the crevices. And this goes to a plow frame. These ones go to the bumper that I'm doing that you guys saw earlier in the video. They all turned out.